We got a trade. We got a trade. Let's talk about it. What is going on, guys? What is going on, 27 Squad? Welcome back in to another video. Today, we are talking about the New York Giants trading for offensive lineman, interior offensive lineman, Billy Price. Now, the Giants had to give up former single season sack leader, BJ Hill, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I think I said that right. That was a tongue twister. Former single season record holding sack leader, BJ Hill, uh, had to give him up for Billy Price. Now, in my honest opinion, um, I think this was good for both Billy Price, BJ Hill, the Giants, and the Cincinnati Bears. I think this works out for everybody. Now, let's talk about BJ Hill. Now, there was talks yesterday. Everybody was noticing BJ Hill was not on the field yesterday when, when it came to the New England Patriots game. He was not on the field was nowhere to be seen did not play was not on the sidelines he was nowhere to be seen and so that pretty much was a fine indicator there that maybe bj hill was going to be moved or something else happened but lo and behold we get the, this news today that bj hill was traded to the cincinnati Bengals. now let me go over first why this was a good thing for bj hill he's on the last year of his rookie deal and him being behind leonard williams dexter uh, lawrence and even danny shelly he's not going to be a nose tackle at all he would either play you know that uh that spot that Leonard Williams is at where he's kind of the three technique kind of the five technique there's really not a chance for BJ Hill to go ahead and show what he can do besides just being a situational you know interior lineman and I don't think that's what he wants to be so him going to Cincinnati and them having kind of a trying to build a revamped uh, defensive line he may have some more opportunities to get some more looks and try to earn himself a second contract with whatever team that may be so him being in a new scenery and for a chance to him for, for him to get more opportunities seems to be like a good thing for bj hill now let's talk about billy price now billy price was also in the 2018 draft along with bj hill billy price was a lot more reputable in that 2018 draft he was listed as a borderline first to second round pick as a center or guard just the interior offensive lineman and out of ohio state and i even had the giants um my, i even mocked him going to the giants in the 2018 draft in one of my mock drafts so i'm very familiar with billy price um i do like him of course, I, the last I ever watched of Billy Price was at Ohio State, and from everything that I'm hearing now, he has not been looking good in the NFL. He's only started about, I think he only started one game last year, and has not had a very good career leading up to this point, and that says a lot being that Cincinnati offensive line is not good, so him not able to start on a bad Cincinnati offensive line is probably not a good thing but the good thing is similar to that Josh Jackson situation hopefully with him coming with you know a new scenery new coaches new players um, new scheme that maybe they can get something out of him that their previous team did not it reminds me a lot of this Josh Jackson trade okay Josh Jackson his he had a lot of potential right he was a high second round pick had a lot of potential going to Green Bay and did nothing in Green Bay He's coming here, and the Giants are hoping that they can get something out of him. I see that same situation happening with Billy Price. Now, this is nothing against B.J. Hill. Like I said, I think it helps him. Joe Judge even said it. He's on the last year of his deal, and he needs to get an opportunity to earn that second contract. And we're probably not going to use the guy anyway. Anyway, We have an undrafted interior um, defensive lineman in Raymond Johnson that's been really good in the preseason. So he is not only a cheaper option, he's a guy that we, that we can keep around longer as well and for cheaper so I would take it all the way and obviously you get a little younger at that position so I don't mind it at all but Billy Price where, what are we gonna do with Billy Price so you guys heard what I just said you know he he's a guy that doesn't start on a bad Cincinnati offensive line the Giants went ahead and traded for him and try to get some offensive line depth now one thing that I am I guess commending Dave Gettleman for is that he is not being so prideful and saying, you know, I didn't draft offensive linemen, and so I really want to go with these young guys. He's not doing that whatsoever. He's trying to, he's trying to help it the best way he can. Obviously, he bought it. He brought in 
older offensive linemen that wound up retiring in Zach Fulton and Joe Looney. Um, and then wanted to bring in a guy like Ted Larson that seems to be pretty, I think will be solid for us. And also bringing in a younger guy in Billy Price because Shane Lemieux, our fifth round pick last year, may not be ready to go in week one. And if week one comes around, you may see either Billy Price or Ted Larson starting. And it all depends on who wins that job. Unfortunately, we do not have another preseason game to go, which is very unfortunate because I would like to see one, at least one game with these two guys in action kind of duking it out. Same thing about what happened last game when it came to Matt Parrott and Nate Solder, they were kind of taking turns on each drive. I kind of wanted to see that if you know Billy Price was on the team at the time. So, uh, listen, I like Billy Price, I like them in the draft. Same thing with Josh Jackson. Uh, Jackson, these guys are very reputable former draft picks coming out of I think Josh Jackson came out of uh, Iowa, I believe. I could be wrong, and then. Um, you know Billy Price coming out of Ohio State and these guys were very good on film in their collegiate careers coming into the NFL they really really went downhill okay hopefully with a new change of scenery new coaching staff new schemes and all that stuff they will have a better career and help this team moving forward Billy Price played 698 snaps at center 478 at left guard and 177 at right guard now obviously i don't envision the new york giants switching nick gates away from his position of center i think they should stick him on there i know he's more of like a swiss army knife type guy but he's doing really well at center we don't want to stun any growth and any uh you know any progress that he's making at center keep him at center and you know have billy price price play that uh, second most played position that he's played and that is left guard obviously left guard is an issue right now Shane Lemieux is out I believe with a lingering knee injury and it's not like Shane Lemieux was anything to be excited about to just put that in the nicest way possible he wasn't much to be excited about anyway but with him out with injury leaves a huge hole on that offensive line and I don't think you could really count on Kenny Wiggins or Ted Larson really sharing that role before Shane Lemieux comes back I think Billy Price was a good move it's a low I guess you could say it's not really a high risk because it's not like BJ Hill was going to get much playing time anyway he didn't get much playing time last year so you're not going to see him get much playing time this year now with Leonard Williams having that huge contract so Billy uh, I mean uh, BJ Hill really didn't have a chance here in New York and I'm very happy to see him get an opportunity in Cincinnati so that being said guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below leave a like if you guys enjoyed what do you guys think about this trade how do you guys feel about Billy Price how do you guys feel about letting go of BJ Hill I want to know your thoughts leave it in the comment section below subscribe if you guys are new and I'll see you guys in the next video